Every student with special needs and every family of a student with special needs deserves a clear and transparent process when it comes to allowing service animals in schools. What we're doing with the support of dogs is actually allowing students and families to feel that they have an opportunity for their student to succeed. Well, when it comes to um, kids with dogs and service dogs in the classroom especially, um, their service dogs are an extension of themselves and if they have to leave them at the door of the school then it, and it makes it harder for them to make it through their school day. Well it's important uh, right across the province to make sure there's certainty and consistency uh, when it comes to having service dogs in classrooms uh, for, for children with autism or any special needs. So it's very critical uh, that again we, we have a consistent message, consistent policy uh, from one end of the province to the other. Right now, only 39 of 72 school boards across Ontario have policies in place. But if this legislation is approved, that will change. There's been families that have been turned away and we can't have that. We need a consistent policy. We're going to be working with school boards in order to do that. I think families across this province, especially with students with special needs with regards to support or service dogs, are going to be hopeful now. At the end of the day, it's all about making sure that every family in this province feels supported when it comes to ensuring their child has access to a meaningful education. For Ontario News Now, I'm Lindsay Vanstone.